Hey everybody, what's going on? In this video, we're gonna learn how can you use Conversation AI workflow step to book appointments straight into your Go High Level calendar for your business. So I'm gonna jump into my Go High Level sub account where I have a calendar for a marketing audit, which I will be using for my marketing agency. And I wanna make sure that the bot is able to fetch slots from my calendar and then make suggestions to the user and then ultimately book them in automatically. So we're gonna build this workflow from scratch. The first thing I'm gonna add here is a trigger. So I will do on a customer report applied so for the filters the first thing i'm going to use is the reply channel i'm going to keep it sms for now and then i'm going to add in a number just for testing purposes so let's select this one right here and lastly i'm just adding a tag this is optional but i want to add a specific tag so my other stuff is not interfering with this test right here so i'm just going to put this here and i'm going to select a contact that has the tag for the testing purpose so once we have this selected i'm going to hit save trigger and then we're going to set an action here so let's click here and when you search conversation ai it will actually show you that we have an appointment booking conversation ai bot now so if you select that there's a few things that we have to set up. So the first thing we have to set up here is the calendar. Now, please note here that this will not work with the recurring calendar. So you have to make sure that it's not a recurring calendar and you will not see them here. So I'm going to select the marketing audit call. Once that is selected, we can move on to the bot personality and additional instructions. So I'm just going to tweak the personality part a bit so it reflects more about my business. So let's change that real quick. So just added in some detailed text so it better suits the personality for my business. And then for additional instructions, you can also tweak that if you need to. And then if you scroll down, we see maximum messages limit before it goes to appointment not booked. So what it means here is that the bot will send an X number of messages to book an appointment. If it is not able to convince the person to do so in those 10 messages, then it will go to the condition or the branch, which will be appointment not booked. So this is 10 by default. Of course, you can change it. We usually recommend 15 here. And then we have a timeout value. Let's say the bot is waiting for a reply. It has sent something and the customer is not responding. So 24 hours is the basic limit. You can, of course, change it. And then if we go down, we have the channel here. So I'm just going to do SMS as I'm testing there. And then we have an option where it says, don't let the bot send confirmation message. Now, if you want to review what the bot has booked, or if you want to make sure that there's no double bookings, or you have multiple things going on, you can then enable it so the bot doesn't send a confirmation, and then you can manually send a confirmation. But if you want the bot to take over, then just uncheck it, and then the bot will send confirmation messages. And then if you scroll down, you'll see we have branches, we have timeout, appointment was booked appointment not booked so these are default you cannot change them but once you click on save action you'll actually see three different steps now let's say there was a timeout you can send a different message and then if there was an appointment booked you can send maybe um, email and if the appointment was not booked you can still add some actions maybe adding a follow-up or maybe adding them to an email drip sequence where you try to nurture them right so this gives you a good solid base to start with now i'm just going to publish this as is now and then we'll see this in actions so let's save it real quick and then i'm going to open up this conversation right here now as you can see under booked appointments we do not have any appointment booked at this point right so i'm just going to send some messages from my phone to this go high level number and then we'll see the conversation ai in action so let's do that real quick so i'm just going to send a message here starting the conversation with hi there which should reflect here in a few seconds so there's the message that I've sent from my phone. And if I go here to my workflow and go to execution logs, you will see that the contact has now been added. So the conversation AI will kick in now and then respond back in a few seconds. And there it is, the bot has responded back. Now I'm going to ask a few questions or maybe just ask for some information and we'll see how the bot responds. So I've just sent another message here and you can see we have received it right here. So in a few seconds, let's say the bot has to say so you sure we can definitely help with that let's book an appointment to discuss that's awesome now i'm gonna say um let's say wednesday works best for me and then let's see what it says about that and there we are it says great i'll check the available times for wednesday what's your perfect time day morning okay that's perfect so i'll probably do morning i'm just gonna reply with that and then let's see Perfect, there it is. You can see it has fetched the slots from the Go High Level calendar, 8 a.m. all the way through 10 a.m. in the morning time. So I'm just gonna do 9.30 a.m. Let's say that and see how the bot takes it from there. 
So just said 9.30 and voila, you can see the appointment has been booked straight away. So this is really, really awesome. The bot is able to fetch the slides from the Go High Level calendar, book the appointment and then send a confirmation. So if I do a quick refresh here, we should be able to see that we have a new appointment here, which is confirmed. So that's how you can see the conversation AI bot can actually supercharge your business if you use a Go High Level calendar in integration with conversation AI and then just map them in a workflow or an automation. Again, if you even create a simple workflow like this, you can supercharge your business, take appointments on an automated way. And then after the appointment is booked or if it's not booked based on the circumstances, you can define what the next steps would be. So you're still in charge of the process. You can still define a good customer journey, a custom to your needs and then just take it from there that was about this video do try this feature out for your business or your clients and help them get more appointments every single day